I have a history of community service. I've done four years of volunteer work at San Francisco Sex Information. I have spoke numerous times uh, at San Francisco State University in return for donations to San Francisco AIDS Foundation and did a year and a half of volunteer work at Florence Crittenden Child Care Services. I'm a small business person. In 1985, I started an adult telephone entertainment company, which gives me a background in law since there's always legal <laughs> challenges involved with that kind of work. Around 2000, uh, I outsourced the, uh, the business to a company in Arizona and began doing market timing with my background in economics. So I have a background in law and economics, and I am the candidate who thinks outside the box. I have a web page full of proposals for you to peruse if you'd like. It's Berwick for supervisor.com. You take a look at there and you will see lots of them. I am going to promote public safety by some of my proposals. First, I'm going to want to put out a $10,000 uh, uh, reward for any information leading to the rest of the conviction of anybody involved with a date, a date rape drug called Rohypnol. I want to liberalize our city policies towards prostitution. If we can create a situation where the prostitutes are not afraid of police, but working with the police, these people have lots of access to uh, underground economies and can work with the police to remedy drug problems. Um, I want to strengthen the Human Rights Commission. Uh, I want to uh, install a situation where upon the third offense, uh, as determined by the Human Rights Commission, that the Human Rights Commission will have the right to suspend the business license of an individual who uh, has committed the offenses for a period of one day. We're going to promote the tourism in San Francisco by doing heartfelt things, by being a city with a heart, and engaging activities that will make people like us, want people to be around us. My political aspirations are very short term, I'm looking only at the present position of district supervisor and have no future plans beyond that, being 60 years old. And that's my situation. Thank you, Barbara. Janet?